my gut. Y'all see me? Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous. I'm doing well, and I am back to do a review of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode number four. I didn't do last week because I was bored out of my mind when I was watching it, but I've realized that you guys, you want to see the reviews, whether they are boring or not. Not that I would do like a boring review, but the show itself was boring, you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, please be sure to like this video. Please be sure to comment down below and get back to everybody's comments, and I'll be back into the swing of things officially next week. So um, I did want to get these reviews done for Real Housewives and Love & Hip Hop, so let's just Let's go ahead and get into it. Kenya, she's doing these little spin aerobics type of thing and I like that. I actually want to do something like that. So Candy comes by and she was like, I wanted to do it but I broke my ankle and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. It seems like Candy always has an excuse why she don't want to do something. Like, I, I would do it but I gotta make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's like, Candy girl, they're supposed to be having a girlfriend day and then Candy out of the blue wants to talk about the whole Apollo Phaedra madness. Kenya, she wants to bring out her and she's like, look at this. Look at these receipts, okay? And Candy like, oh, oh, oh. So you don't say LOL, thanks, babe, to somebody else's husband. And I was like, you right, Candy. You don't do that. You can tell that something is fishy because Kenya, she can't sit still. She got to keep flipping her hair. Her lips are chat. Like, she just going through. You can tell something wrong. Even though Candy yodels when she talks, she is telling the truth. I definitely agree with her. You shouldn't be texting nobody's husband or man, friend, or boo thing unless you were friends before they even got together and I didn't think Apollo and Kenya were friends before uh-uh only in Anguilla Boop. Portia goes to talk to Dr. Blake and honey I could have Dr. Blake's job I'd give you I'd, I'd give you a read honey for real Dr. Blake was like well how do you feel about Kunta mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. I love the read that Dr. Blake gave her she was like no boo boo you pissed because people telling you the truth I was like oh clean up on aisle five uh, Portia, can you please get your face up off the floor? We do not have liability insurance. Get that. It's splattered all over the place. Messy. Portia was the hired help, okay? Modern day the help. Hello. So come to find out, Portia was really marrying Cordell because she lost her father early and she wanted another father figure because he was going to help her, mold her, give her money, basically be her daddy. And that's nasty. I was, I was in agreement with Dr. Blake. Baby, that's nasty. You don't sleep with your daddy. Yeah. Portia was like, I was wondering what could I do to be with Cardell? Yeah, what could I do? Baby, you can make you a fried fish sandwich. He don't want to be with you? You could lick all the floors in the home. He don't want to be with you, boo-boo. No, thank you. Oh, Cynthia, she had her surgery and everything. She in the bed on her iPad. Nene comes over to visit. That's it. Candy and Phaedra, they hang out. They supposed to be Doro rogues. So they hanging out and everything. And of course, they talking about Apollo again. Every woman, including myself, because I am a woman. Okay, but every woman has their little point, their little breaking point, especially if they with a man and you talk about something and they like, Rrr! every woman has one of those. And Kenya is Phaedra's. Her eyes start crossing, she be shaking. It's a lot. Somebody gonna be shaking the table pretty soon. I see it. We go back to Cynthia and little baby Noel. Noel is not a baby no more. She's a cute little thing and her daddy is Leon, honey. I, mm, 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 mm. You got a chance in the world if your daddy is Leon. But anyway, they talking and you know Noel, she got a little, little boy thing named Arthur. Get your life. You can't even say sex around your daughter, Cynthia. You need help. Baby Noel is more advanced than you, sugar. Oh, uh, Cynthia, you better get little Baby Noel an offer, okay? So they all meet for Portia minus Kenya, and uh, Portia starts spilling the beans about her marriage. She need to ask for groceries. She need to ask to go places, and she need to ask for somebody to come in the house. Honey, that sound like your daddy to me, honey. Uh, I did agree with Nene. She was like, baby, well, you can fly your own jets and write your own checks. That's something to be bragging about. I was like, yes, honey, hello. She couldn't have people come over either. And that was strict Joe Jackson, Ike Turner foolery. And when they were doing the flashbacks earlier in the episode, I was like, you know what? Kunta was crazy. We just didn't see that crazy flicker in his eye. I just can't deal with that to hear that some women actually like that and they want that they want a man to tell them when they can pee or when they can go out somewhere if they can have an allowance it's like honey i don't have time for that like no no thank you do i have to tell you that i'm gonna take some bologna out of the refrigerator put it in the pan and let it get burnt and then tell you that i have to put it on some white bread with a little bit of mustard and mayo to make you a sandwich put i don't think i need to uh-uh that's a little bit too much information tmi so now nene 
Nene is heading to help Kenya find her a new place. And she like, ooh, the ghetto. Ooh. Now, I did not like that with Nene because Baby Cakes, uh, where were you before Real Housewives of Atlanta? Hello? Um, you're not that bougie. That's something that I cannot stand when people that get a little bit of change act like they didn't come from nothing. Uh, they did go to the hotel that uh, Kenya was staying at. And I was even like, well, damn. Like, it's not... Uh, uh, Kenya? Miss Twirl, Miss I'm um, Gone with the Wind Fabulous, there's nothing wrong with the hotel. But at the same time, um, Kenya, you staying at the Holiday Inn? Girl, really? Okay. Then she making up excuses when Nene comes in. This is not where I live, honey. Why is all your stuff and your dog happily there? Like, come on in, girl. Her dog was like, girl, come on in. This is where we at. Why didn't Simi Akeem get you a place, girl? My thing is, if you're going to talk all this mess and talk a big game saying you this and you that and you have this and look at me, womp womp, Prince Akeem should have got you a place in Atlanta. They go and see a place and it's a 5,000 square foot home. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I thought it was dope. And they dropped the price of $1,650,000 and Kenya's baby hair stood up. She was like, oh hell no, I ain't got time for this. But in her confessional talking about, I don't have... Why would I pay that for a box? And I was like, girl, you don't have it. Honey, you're not that bougie, okay? Next, Phaedra and Apollo meet. Apollo is one of them type of dudes that needs attention. All men need attention. All females need attention, but in different ways. But Apollo is one of them. If you don't look at him and play with his balls and tell him he's a lucky charm, uh, he gonna go out and do something else. He been inside too long. <sighs> Phaedra, you knew what you were doing. You got one of them inside men that ain't never been out for too long. And now he's out and he is enjoying everything. That little boy, y'all told me he in school and all of that. Okay, so his little Bob the Builder backpack. He's in school and he is ready to flourish and mingle and spread his little Apollo Creed wings. Phaedra, you knew better. So he said, yo, I got this from the old house and it's a subpoena from Kenya and all this foolery. And Phaedra's like, honey, I don't have time for this. Ew. They start talking about all of the allegations allegations with um Kenya trying to suck his Peter he doesn't think he crossed the line like he is literally laughing in her face it's so funny that Apollo and Kenya cannot recall what happened it's like they sat down and strategized before the season started of what they were gonna say all season Apollo he is very easy on the eyeball he is very adorable but up there something upstairs uh, -uh there's no stairs there's no attic they don't even have no restrooms in his house in his head they, there's nothing there he's talking about I'm a grown man blah 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 this was all for attention to me Phaedra's like so what was her so what was she talking about wanting to suck your sack and he's sitting there talking about I, 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 don't, I don't know he ends it I saw her in LA and then nothing happened she wanted to come over I, I went to another hotel we made jelly sandwiches um, we played Nintendo and um, I got her some new Nikes and then we went all home and I'm like I felt just like Phaedra honey mm -mm, something ain't right You're, you need to check Phaedra, for you to be a super sleuth lawyer, you need to check on that boo. But all in all, that was the episode. Next week's supposed to be better because we see Candy's mama. But down below, let me know what you thought about this episode. If you do reviews, be sure to send it to me. I want to check out some more content. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like this video and share it with all that you know. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next review. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!